your boy Dash the guy, man. At Young Scooter 501, I'm out here tapping in with Ground Zero. Don't pull up on me out here in Southwest. Not too far from Wycliffe, y'all. Finna let y'all know what's coming, man. Most definitely, man. So, you know, where you know where you originally from? Man, I'm from Southwest, Wycliffe Drive. Right up the street, 65th, man. They don't really know nothing about that, man. That's that old school shit, man. And you mentioned right up the street, you know, like, uh, how far is it, you know, like? Yeah, you pull out this motherfucker, make that left go about 30 feet. Real get it right. And keep on going, and it's going to be Wycliffe Drive, man. Not too far from Wakefield Elementary, man, if y'all know what that's at, man. Most definitely, man. Hey, I'm going to take y'all in the spot, man, the basic lab where I be chilling at, where we doing interviews and shit out here on the block, man. Shit be getting crazy out here, and they don't even know about that. Finally, I caught up with my boy Derek, the guy, man. What's good, man? Like I said, we just entered the blue door, man. We at the basic lab. Just had to do an interview with my boy Ground Zero to let y'all know how I'm finna be coming. A while back, I let him know I was finna make debut in July. So I had to get something shaking, you know what I did? Well, definitely, you said, you know, a while back you had uh, mentioned, you know, you was gonna make debut in July. You know, where did that come from, though? You know, like, why? You know, why July? Well, I'm making it July because it just felt like a good time as far as like just my situation in life right now, man. Been doing this music since I was about 12 years old, man, but shit, just going through life and shit like that, shit just, I, I'll be hindering myself, you know what I'm saying? So I just had to wait for the right, the, the right moment that I felt would be good to try to really focus on the debut because I'm, I'm, I'm still with moms and shit. She on my ass, she don't give a fuck about no music. She tell me shit, how the, how the fuck you doing some music and you ain't even got a demo? But I be trying to like, she, we, you, you know how moms be and shit, man. Like they, they be, want, they be telling you shit. They be right, but at the same time, they not, they not you. You're not them. So it's like, they, you can't really. It's just, it just be back and forth type shit, man. You were talking, and you know, you mentioned, you know, moms. You know, <clears throat> do you feel like that's a problem? Like, you know, in the world, period. You know, like parents, you know, trying to. Yeah, yeah. Like what? What? Like what? Yeah, parenting be 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 different in, in the millennial generation and shit, man. You know how this shit go as far as like some young kids, they not really going to church like they used to. Parents, you know what I'm saying? They just don't. Like I said, it's just that whole back and forth with you not them, they not you. But but the, but the whole time they trying to just they speaking from experience, man. So that's how that shit go when it comes to parenting. Just even even us, like when, once we have kids, you know, because I don't got kids right now and shit. But like once I have kids, I know I'm even if I not really trying to, I know at some point in time I'm, I'm gonna be trying to I'm gonna be speaking to them from the experiences that I've had in life, you know. Most well, definitely, you know. You and your mom, you know, like how do you deal with that though? You know, like her not seeing you know the vision and stuff like. Man, I just deal with it by like uh, lately since I've been older. I'm 20 years old now, and uh, she. My mom, she had me at 14 years old, so right now she's, she's, you know, she not too far behind me. So like now we more like when we, when we talk about it, I just be like, I'ma just show you better than tell you, you know. Like we talk like we homies, like you know. But but back then, I would I would take it I would take it bad. I would just feel like she didn't understand me. I would be feeling like she just, you know, what I'm saying, doubting me and shit. But for me, like telling her so many times, like damn, why you doubting me? Why you can't? Why you can't accept this? This is my dream. This is my passion and shit. You know what I'm saying? And she'd just be telling me shit like that, like what I said about, you ain't even got no fucking demo, da da da. But I'm thinking in my mind, like, shit, this, this shit take time, you know what I'm saying? This, this, motherfuckers don't really like, it's, it's not about the money, but it is about the money because that's how the world works. So it's just like, you know what I'm saying? This shit take money. I know she not finna give me no money for the fucking music and shit because she, she wanna see me do some shit. Like, they wanna see me go to the army, they wanna see me go to college and shit. But I'm a felon, I'm, I'm behind, I'm hindered and shit. I'm, I'm, I gotta get it out the mud, and, and I really don't mind that. Most definitely, that's too real. And you know, <clears throat> you mentioned you know money is how the you know world work. Like, what exactly do you mean? Like, well, money how the world work is just like any situation. Like, money may not buy happiness, but it 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 sure does not make you mad most of the time. So it's just like it's just like man, like money, money, money rules the world right now. Like that's just fucking how it is. Like you gotta play the game. But it's just about your intention. That's all it's about, your intention, because you shit, yeah, a motherfucking can have money and still be fucking depressed, but at the same time, somebody can have money, they can want to give back, they can want to, they can want to do so many positive things so that they don't feel too greedy or so that they can be leading by example, showing that they're humble and that they're a mogul or some shit like that, you know? No, man. It's too real. Yeah, and that's what I'm about, man. Shit, I, 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 
like and shit like like I want I, I I aspire to be a mogul and, and, and a person that's giving back etc. But it's just like right now like I'm in that mode like like I, I know I need money and shit and I know I need some growth and shit like that because shit moms ain't having that shit like the longer it takes for me to just get on my shit like the more she'll the more she'll think I'm not gonna be shit you know like I'm only 20 right now for some people that's young you know what I'm saying for some people that's you know what I'm saying old or whatever but. Like, my mom, she always been on my ass. My dad, like, he ain't fucking around. So it's just like, my mom, she want to be hard and shit, you know? Really talk. <clears throat> so, you know, what exactly, you know, do you got planned for the summer, you know, in July? Like, what do you got? What I got planned for the summer, man, is to just try to try to get the name for myself, you know? Like, I, I, don't, I don't really have a name right now. Some, some people know I rap, but that may just only be people closer to me, so... Throughout the summer, I'm just planning to network more, work with good people and shit. Before, before I plan to do this debut in July, before that, I just did a bunch of observing, man. Like, I did a bunch of observing, going to different events, t you know, dealing with different people, seeing how how they're working their event. Like, and, and it was a great experience for me. You know, I was able to really uh, reflect off, off of all those experiences, so many different shows and shit. You know what I'm saying? But I never been to no like. I never really been to any big show like with a famous person other than just like a fucking Earl sweatshirt and shit. But like, you know, it's, it's, it, 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 like Little Rock, man, this shit popping. Arkansas is popping pretty. So it, it'd be a lot of shows that people would not even know about because they'd be in a certain group of people. But me, I've, I've always been very diverse, man. You know, fucking with everybody, fucking everybody, you know. So I will meet somebody, man, and they'll, they'll take me to some big ass fucking mansion with these people performing and shit. And I'm like, who the fuck is these motherfuckers? But at the same time, shit was lit. So it was like, I want to know, like, damn, how is they doing this? And, and my niggas in the hood, they don't know about this, but I know it's a lot of my niggas in the hood that's rapping, and they, they talking about they want to do a show and shit, but it's just like, over here with these motherfuckers, like, they, they, really, doing they really doing it, and they they, they they showing love. And and when it comes to money, they're, they're making their money, too, because this is it's a business, you know? like So... It's just like damn, like seeing all that, that made me want to be about my business. That one, that made me want to just sit back and observe rather than just like rush some shit or just be like folding under pressure from what what my mom's talking about and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like folding under pressure, like just jumping into college instantly. If I already know, like I can't just get this shit from the streets, but like shit, bro, you got fucking media and and Google and all these shits, man. You you can teach yourself. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta be firm on that shit. So it's just like. So I just didn't fold and none of that shit. And I just been observing. And that's all I was doing before I decided that I wanted to make this debut in July, you know? Real talk. And you, and you know, like, what would you say, you know, about Little Rock, you know, as far as the city as a whole, like, when it comes to the business side, you know, like... Man, Little Rock is great, man. Well, for I love us, the city, anyways, man. you know, for us, you know, our kind. Man, I love the city, man. The fucking city been going crazy, bro. Even for, even for, even for everybody, man. Business out here is thriving. The city fucking growing everywhere you look. There's something new being built. Man, this fucking city's going crazy, bro. I'm loving this shit, man. It's just about like, like you know, some people may say, oh, there's not shit here or whatever, but it's just like, like they they save the best for last. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, man, like from from my experience watching the city and and as observative as I am. From all my observation, man, it's just like, bro, this city's fucking going crazy. It's just, it's just taking some time, but it's gonna be worth it. Like, shit, it's gonna be worth it. Just like a woman wanting a baby, shit. Like, she's gonna go through that pregnancy, man. But when the baby comes, she's gonna be, it's gonna be good, you know. Then there's gonna be, you know, growth can go, you know. Tapping back in, man. Yeah, man, we tap back in, man. Yeah, man, I seen you, you know, you had reached out to me. Was this your first time or? Well, my first like time when on the you interview? You shot me a DM. Oh, uh, yeah, I hit you up, man, because I had been watching your work, man. I was like, damn, man, this Ground Zero shit, this, this shit real, man. This shit, like, this shit just so authentic, man. Like, coming from the ground up, like, that, that that's real, man. And I, you know, I seen, what, I kept seeing Young Scooter. What's your Instagram name? Like, yeah, uh, at Young Scooter 501, man. I came up with that name because my family, they, they, my auntie, my grandma's sister, just was calling me Scooter when I was young. Like she just called me Scooter. So it's just like all my family called me Scooter. You know what I'm saying? All that. And then once I got to a certain age, about by 12, I was in the streets and shit. And my 
my uncles and godbrothers and shit, you know what I'm saying? They're in the streets, so when they see me, they, they they just like young Scooter, like they start calling me that shit. So I'm like, I'm, I'm around with that little shit. So I, I, I put Young Scooter as my Instagram. And then I got Darius to God in there, you know what I'm saying? And it, it was just like, it's just like my growth. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I was born and I'm in this young Scooter mode where I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the streets, I'm being bad, I'm doing this shit, you know what I'm saying? And then it's just like, I go into Darius to God when I'm like, you know, coming myself. Like I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to become a man. And I'm being a man and shit like that. So like, that's really like my, my ego is changing to, to growth. So right now you says say you going by you know Darius the God. Yeah yeah I'm, yeah I'm going by Darius the God you know what I'm saying I'm going by Darius the God now and over time I'm a I'm a like like if I whenever I get the point to drop a mixtape and album and stuff like I start off as the Golden Child I start off as the Golden Child like born and then I'm gonna switch into Young Scooter you know what I'm saying that's when I'm growing learning etc and then Darius the God when I'm you know what I'm saying? I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I'm really, I'm really able to lead by example, and you know what I'm saying, and, and, and be a good man, like I said, and just be, do, have an authentic passion, man. Cause like this shit ain't for, this shit ain't for fun. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's, it, ain't, it ain't for like, like, it, like it's not for play or anything. Like it, it's, it's some authentic shit. You know what I'm saying? And so that's why I want to make it like that. Okay, most well, definitely. And did you? I seen. I was paying attention. You got. You know. You got a, a label that you reclaim. Is it? That's a, That's your own. Or well, that? well. This. This is what I got. Like, I ain't. Like, this is what I got. I got. A, I got a movement that I call Sacred Soldier. I created that just dealing with the streets, and at the same time trying to find myself. Like, I had to find the balance with. You know what I'm saying? I'm being sacred because I'm. Because I'm. I'm trying to find this balance. You know what I'm saying? My relationship with God and. And, and trying to be on the righteous path and, and things like that, but at the same time, with certain circumstances, I, I got I got to be a soldier. You know what I'm saying? Whether I have to do something bad or whether I have to go through some bad, like you know what I'm saying? It was just a balance with being sacred and being a soldier. So the movement that I got with some close friends of mine, shout out my boy King Marco, man, five hundred one. Uh, like it was just a movement. Like damn, man, we sacred soldiers. And my nigga King Marco, we like we really went through that shit together, type shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, so like. We, we started fucking with that. I, I came up with the name and shit, and he said, he my nigga said he was fucking with this shit, so I'm like, man, I'm gonna I'm stick with that shit, Sega Soldier, but that, that's just the movement. But I, I wanna create a, a label I call Bliss World, shit, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I come up with that from just my background, my family and shit, Chambliss, and at the end of my name, the word is Bliss, so so I call it Bliss World, cause you know, that's, Bliss is like the, the ultimate, you know what I'm saying? You can call it happiness or you can call it the ultimate success. It's just that point where you, where it's, it's, it's bliss, you know what I'm saying? So I call it bliss world because, like, even if you don't reach that point, you know what I'm saying? Everybody in the world, they're trying to, they're trying to reach the best version of themselves. So I call it bliss world, man. And, you know, like, other than, you know, July, you know, go ahead and let the people know what they can expect from you. Well, what they can hopefully expect from me is a performance on uh, July 28th at, uh, at the mixtape by mixtape, I think it's called. I don't know, but my homeboy Sauce, man, he he 100, man, and he and he be hosting these shows, man. Backwards of Atlanta gonna be there supposedly and all that, man. But it's good. They had two so far. This is the third one, so it's gonna be lit. So hopefully they can see my debut uh, there and see my debut single. So uh, that's what they can be looking forward to for right now for July. Cause uh, like I said, I'm, I'm still getting it together, but. Like I, like I, like I, I take it step by step, no rush, man. Cause this, this takes patience. You know what I'm saying? As serious as I take it, it takes patience. You know what I'm saying? Cause you don't wanna, you don't wanna move too fast and just, like, just, you just not be what you want. I guess I'm a perfectionist, man. Okay. Some people say it's bad. Some people say it's good. But like, for myself, from my experience, I've been doing certain shit so long. It's just like, I know, I, I know what I feel. I'm, I'm having to do so. I'm hoping people come out to that, and uh, if it's good, it's good. Everybody will hear about it. Everybody will see. What's that from, man? Y'all go tap in. Tap in. It's your boy Darius the guy, man. Tapped in with Ground Zero, man. It was great. We out here in Southwest, not too far from Wycliffe Drop. Always remember, it's Chestnut Checkers. Bliss world, man. <laughs>